What's up guys, just a quick pro tip. I wanted to add in some things that I am working on. I hope that it helps somebody else out there. I have been working on my focus, so I do not use my phone's timer. Put it on silent, it goes face down. I do not want to take the chance of getting it distracted by an email, text, Instagram notification, you name it. I don't want any of that while I'm dry firing and trying to improve. But just like to dry and live fire, we use a pro timer or a shot timer. What does not get measured does not get improved. So if I actually use a timer, I can keep track of the actual sets that I do and for how long. So for example, if you're doing an exercise for two minutes, yes, if you're doing your dry fire correctly, your hands are gonna be a little smoked or anything like that. But at the end of that two minutes, you can mentally say to yourself, wow, that went by really fast and I was really engaged. I could have gone longer, at least mentally, with what I was doing. That is your cue to increase the time. Go to two and a half, three minutes, whatever you think that you can handle and stay involved with what you are doing. Last but not least, there's still an argument out there about the frequency over the volume with your dry fire. Time and time again, people, I still see it. Oh, I only have 10 minutes, or you can't do that much in 10 minutes. Well, if you are just starting out your competitive journey, there's no reason to strap up real quick. I have my belt on here, for example, if I only had 10 minutes, that's five different things that I can do to work on. Specifically, my draw, if I was just starting out, or fundamentally, we can always get better on our draws. Hands relax at size, surrender, turn and draw, single hand draw, and of course, a weak hand draw. That's five two minute sets, that's a lot of reps, that's a lot of work, do that for a week, and don't tell me that you will not improve your draw. That's what I got, I hope that helps. Let me know what you think.